He is known for his work as a sports editor and actor in Dallas, Texas in the early 20th century. Recognized for his play-by-play -play commentary for a baseball game on radio and his stories published in pulp mystery magazines. His name is Horace McCoy. In the realm of literature, there are those whose talent transcends the written word and spills over into other creative endeavors. Horace McCoy, an American writer born in 1897, was one such individual. Before making his mark as a renowned novelist, McCoy embarked on various artistic pursuits that showcased his versatility and passion. During the years between 1919 and 1930, McCoy found himself immersed in the world of sports journalism as a sports editor for the Dallas Journal in Texas. His love for sports extended beyond the written word, as he even had the opportunity to showcase his talent as a radio broadcaster. In 1924, McCoy took to the airwaves, providing play-by-play -play commentary for a baseball game. This experience not only solidified his connection to the world of sports but also opened up new avenues for his creative expression. But McCoy's artistic prowess did not stop at journalism and broadcasting. He also delved into the realm of acting, proving himself to be a multi-talented individual. He graced the stage of the Dallas Little Theater, captivating audiences with his performances. One notable role was in Philip Berry's play, The Youngest, where McCoy's acting skills shone brightly. His talent was so exceptional that he secured leading roles in productions such as Molnar's, Lillian, and Sidney Howard's, They Knew What They Wanted. McCoy's presence on stage was described in a 1928 column in the Dallas Morning News as that of an enfant terrible, a figure who pushed boundaries and challenged conventions in both journalism and theater. These early experiences in sports journalism and acting laid the foundation for Horace McCoy's future success as a writer. They provided him with a diverse range of experiences and insights into the human condition, which he would later bring to life in his literary works. McCoy's journey from the world of sports to the stage would ultimately shape his unique perspective as a novelist, and his legacy continues to inspire aspiring artists to this day. In the bustling world of Hollywood, Horace McCoy found himself immersed in the glitz and glamour of the film industry. Drawing inspiration from his own experiences, McCoy's greatest literary achievement in the realm of novels and film work was his ability to capture the gritty reality of life and the allure of the silver screen. One of McCoy's notable works, They Shoot Horses, Don't They, was born from his time working as a bouncer. Set during the Great Depression, the novel tells the story of a dance marathon and the desperate individuals who participate. McCoy's vivid portrayal of the era's hardships and the harsh realities of human desperation resonated with readers and later paved the way for a film adaptation. Another novel, I Should Have Stayed Home, delved into the struggles of a young Southern actor seeking fame and fortune in 1930s Hollywood. Through the eyes of the protagonist, McCoy shed light on the cutthroat nature of the entertainment industry and the challenges faced by those pursuing their dreams. This candid exploration of the dark side of Hollywood solidified McCoy's reputation as a writer who fearlessly exposed the underbelly of the glamorous world. McCoy's talent for crafting gripping narratives extended beyond the pages of novels. In the realm of film, he worked on various genres, including westerns and crime melodramas. Collaborating with esteemed directors such as Henry Hathaway, Raoul Walsh, and Nicholas Ray, McCoy lent his skills to bring stories to life on the silver screen. His uncredited work as a script assistant for the iconic film King Kong further showcased his versatility and contribution to the industry. One of McCoy's notable collaborations was the film Bad for Each Other, which was based on his novel Scalpel. Although uncredited, his involvement in the screenplay demonstrated his ability to seamlessly transition his literary works into compelling visual narratives. McCoy's influence extended beyond Hollywood, as his stories found their way into popular television series, such as the debut of the Samantha Crawford character in the Maverick series. Horace McCoy's ability to capture the essence of the human experience, whether through his novels or film work, left an indelible mark on the literary and cinematic world. His unflinching portrayal of the harsh realities of life and the allure of the silver screen continue to resonate with audiences, making him a true master of his craft. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.